Hello everyone and welcome to DevOps Bus and this is the new video of GCP series and in this video we are going to deploy a react app using the docker and don't worry if you don't know of the docker and all the things so we are trying to deploy a react app and let's see we are able to deploy that app or not so let's get started so first we are just going to create a new instance so we have this instance but we are not going to use this one so we need a specific instance so just we are just going to create a new instance over here so create instance and most of this uh, now you are familiar with this dashboard as well so let's give the name for this application so i will just give the name for like react app then we have to option for choose the instance so i will just choosing the n1 okay so this is the n1 series so we can just choose the instance from like cpu core we have the cpu core from 0.25 to like 96 and we have the memory size as well so we are going to choose this one because we need a uh, intel cpu uh, which, ha which has the uh, like uh, x86 architecture because we are just going to deploy our image that have the like x86 architecture okay so make sure that just choose that image because if we choose this e series so as you can see that there the platform is not defined which means so you can either get the arm based uh, um, instance or either you can get the like x86 architecture based instance so this is not fixed so we need a specific instance so that in that case we just choose the n1 series so you can choose accordingly that one okay so i am just going to choose the n1 and then yeah, as you can see that we have the like uh, option over here so i am just going to choose a standard okay that's pretty much like uh, a 3.475 uh, GB of memory and one core of CPU that will be enough for this one so we are just going to choose this one and we are going to change the uh, boot disk or the operating system to, to the Ubuntu Ubuntu okay okay Ubuntu so we are just going to choose this one and the size is 10 GB and that is the enough for our use case so we are just going to select this one and we have the two options over here like firewalls like http and https so we are just going to uh, select both ones so in the further section we are going to come up the firewall uh, section again so right now we have to just choose the both options so we are not going to int uh, go in the in depth of the firewall so just select this one and as you can see that we have the like monthly billing and we are not going to just uh, stay this instant for a long time we are just going to delete this one once we can deploy the application so we can just select it and everything okay and just we are just going to create this one okay create app not not the create app uh, create instance okay so it just take a time as you can see that the instance is a uh, running state it, it will be in the running state sooner so right now our instance is in the running state so let's SSH into the machine and let's try to deploy the application so just select this one or not the select uh, you can directly do the ssh one so just select the ssh option and just i'm just going to full size uh, full uh, size this window and transferring ssh key to the vm and you might get the option for the authorize so you just have to just enable that one yeah this one authorize in a couple of seconds and you will be get into the machine okay okay so I'm in the machine so let's switch to the root user so sudo su sudo su <laughs> not this one sudo su uh, to the ubuntu one ubuntu and let's cd to the home directory so everything has to be clear and now let me zoom that one okay now it's visible for you as well and now we are going to update the packages and upgrade the packages and with that we are just going to install the docker and docker compose as well so if you don't know the docker so you can just follow uh, my course on this youtube channel you, it's absolutely free you can just follow it all the videos and you can able to uh, deploy the application using the contrast way and also one thing so you must have to know about the docker so if you want uh, to make the current in the devops so you should have to know about the docker so make sure that you just complete the series or either you can just follow the steps that i'm following right now so once you can just if you just follow me you can able to easily uh, deploy that application as well okay so without any further ado let's get started so firstly we are just going to update the packages like sudo apt dash get update and dash y and ampersand so sudo 
apt dash get upgrade dash y not dash 7 dash y and again and after that we are just going to install the docker so the command is simple like sudo apt install docker dot io dash y and again ampersand then sudo apt install docker dash compose and space and dash y okay so we are just going to update the machine uh, then we are just going to upgrade the machine and then we are just going to install the uh, docker.io which means the docker and the docker compose and i hope you just understand all the command so this is a very simple command and then once you done with the, all the things you just press have to enter so it's going to take couple of minutes and after that uh, all the requirements and the like docker will be installed on this machine so as you can see that all the installation has been done like the docker so we can just test it out like sudo docker ps so here it is so all the command is currently working right now so we are just going to clear all the things and let's move back to the this window and this is the app so this is my own app uh, not the own app this is the image that i pushed to the docker hub so you can directly use this image so we are going to pull this image and run this image so first we are just going to pull that one so just copy this command and go to the window so sudo then paste this command like docker pull rohit marathi forward slash and to do so this is the two day application so just press enter so it's going to pull the image from docker registry to this machine so the image is pulled so we can just check it out over here like sudo docker docker images images so as you can see that we have this image id uh, with the name and all the things okay and right now we are going to run this image so if you know our the docker so you can you know that how we can run this image for those who don't know about this one you can just follow me along so there is a very simple command like sudo docker run and dash p and here the interesting part so this image uh, is built with the nginx which means this image will be run on the port 80 okay so the first port will be my machine port which means this machine port will be 80 okay and the second port like 80 for the container port so this 80 will be like by default one so we have to uh, already have to mention that so which uh, port uh, the uh, your application has been working so this studio app is work with the port 80 my default and this first 80 is my machine port so port 80 for uh, the first 80 for my machine port and the second 80 for that container port okay so i hope you get the idea so after that you have to just copy this image name and just paste it over here and if you just press enter as you can see that the application is started running now the application the docker container has been started and we can easily view that one so just go to the dashboard over here and we can just grab the external ip just copy it and paste it over here and just use colon 80 if we just press enter as you can see that we can able to run this application okay and we can just say everything has been working so if we press enter so all the things has been working so just clear all the things okay so let's get back to the window so let's try to close this one so press ctrl c so you can just close this application so let's take a closer look to the command so as i mentioned you like the first 80 port for our machine and the second port is for the, our uh, container port okay so let's try to run this image with the port 3000 so let's again so all the things are going to same so we are only just changing the port number so we can just remove the 80 to the 3000 okay and if we just press enter the application is started so again just grab the external ip which means the public ip just close this one and let's to open the new tab and just press colon and 3000 so once you enter it and you are might be thinking why this application is not running so that's the main question 
so as you can see that our application all is running but in our browser window we are not able to view our application so why this happening so the main issue is regarding to the firewall so let me show you so whenever we just create an instance so if you just create an instance so as you can see that we have the option for the firewall so if you take a closer look if you take a closer look add tax and firewall rules to allow specific network traffic from the internet so what does mean so if you just choose this one like allow http and https so it will be only able to allow the http and https traffic so if you just check like http port number it's 80 and if you just check port number https is 443 so let's try once again so just close this application and now this time uh, we are not going to choose the uh, port 3000 we are just going to choose like 443 okay so 443 and just press enter and again we are just going to do the same thing uh, just grab the where it is uh, public IP and just we are just going to paste this one and 443 and if you just paste it over here and again this application is going to work because so here it is because in the firewall section we have set the rule only for the http and https and our application before that is running on the port 3000 and by default we haven't set any rule for the port 3000 so we haven't mentioned the port 3000 in our firewall section then how we can able to access that one so we are allowed only for the http and https but here we don't get the option for adding the any extra port so how we can add it so let's do the things so uh, let's close this close this one and as you can see that we have the only allow for the http and https so let's go and let's try to add the port 3000 and later we can just able to run this application or not so we are able to run that application so i'm just uh, showing you the demo so let's hide this one so here in the search tab you have to search for the vpc so let's search the vpc and open the new tab so here it is vpc network and as you can see that we have the, this option called as firewall so just go into the firewall section and as you can see that we have the like different different options and here you can just see we have the like two options over like create firewall policy or and create firewall rule so we are going to create a firewall rule so just click on this one and here you just want to give the name for this one so i will just give the name for the like react app react app and then priority will be like 1000 so you can set the priority between the 0 to 1000 so i will be just change to the 1 and because uh, the lower the number the higher the priority is so make sure that you can just set the number so if you just set the higher number that will be not in the priority stage so i just says uh, set to the 1 and the direction of traffic that is ingress which means that internet wants to uh, get inside your machine so that will be like port on the port 3000 so we are able to access the web application via the internet so the traffic will be ingress not the egress egress which means from inside the machine to the outside the world uh, and we are just entering from the internet to the machine so hence the traffic will be ingress and then the like targets okay so we are going to add this rule to the specific service account so as i mentioned earlier so every machine use the service account so we are just going to choose this one specific service account and in this project and we are just going to open this machine just click this one so if you just click this one uh, you can just able to see the service account name so you can just have to scroll this one okay service account okay so as you can see that the service account name is 289 and 333 something you have to just click this one and as you can see that 28933 something okay so we are just going to choose this one and the source filter will be like ip4 range yes and the source will be 
0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 which means from all the over the internet can able to access this particular port so if we just change to the specific uh, port with um, like specific uh, subnet masking so it will be allow on for the subnet uh, that specific uh, IP ranges so we are not going to just uh, select this one so we are just able to have the access form all over the internet so we are just going to choose 0 0.0.0.0 0 0 0 0 forward slash 0 okay then we have to just choose the like port so this is the TCP port so I am just going to uh, check this uh, option and add the port for the like 3000 and after that I am just going to create this one so let's wait for the couple of minutes now the couple of minutes uh, it will be the instance so as you can see that we have the like react application uh, firewall rule as you can see that firewall policy like fire react app ingress and the target and the IP ranges and the port 3000 okay allow and the priority is one everything is clear over here uh, so let's get back to the machine okay and let's try once again so if everything is working or not so just clear this one just go to the this one 443 and just change to the port 3000 uh, to the 3000 and if you just press enter and let's go to the machine again and just copy the external IP and open the new tab and just paste over here and press 3000 so if you just press 3000 so as you can see that this application is now work and here we can add everything like everything is working fine working fine and we learn about firewall firewall okay that's it and that we have to also check mark this one <laughs> because we have successfully able to learn about the how we can add the rules so i hope you get the idea so if you just close this one again and we just press enter so you can able to <laughs> not able to access this machine so i hope you get the idea about the firewall so if you don't enter any specific port number to the machine so that traffic will not be allowed from the outside world so if we have the if you have some of the application that run on the specific port like the port 3000 port 9000 or something else so you have to mention that the port on the machine uh, in the firewall rule so then uh, the outside world can be able to access and also the same apply for the like ingress if your machine wants to access the sum of the content from outside the world then also you have to just choose the egress option so you have to add that specific port then you can uh, your machine can able to access uh, from the outside world so that's the main thing in the ingress and the egress so you can just choose the option as per your need so that's pretty much for this video and before that i am just going to select this one and just i am just going to delete this one so we are able to just delete one by one so now for right now this one and this one we are just going to delete both instance so if you don't have deleted just go ahead and delete this instance and that's pretty much for this video and see you guys in the next one